Hey everyone, so as you all know that TCS NQT is knocking at the door. So if you are one of those 2024 batch students who are preparing for their placements and who are aiming to get into TCS or any other companies that is actually hiring for every company basic things that are needed is going to be aptitude and coding. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to talk about some aptitude questions already yesterday. I have posted about most important coding questions that is most repeatedly being asked in multiple companies hiring especially TCS this video also are going to talk about some most important and repeated aptitude topics and I'm going to give you some sample questions their solutions so make sure to watch this video and make sure to share it with all of your friends who are actually preparing and aiming for getting into placements in this 2024 job market let's see the video and if you like the questions level and if you like the way I teach and make you understand the topics and the solutions make sure to click on the subscribe button join our telegram from the description box link for any discussions and also any hiring related updates and make sure to click on the bell icon after subscribing because we post multiple hiring onboarding learning interview updates every day regularly make sure not to miss out so let's see the questions about aptitudes today so let's see Today's question is going to be TCS and equity most asked questions. This is not only important for TCS but also for every other company's aptitude round questions. First, I am going to teach you in these questions there are going to be two concepts. First, percentage and also second is going to be profit loss. So both the uh, concepts I have combined into one question. Let's read and understand the question first. So Naruto gives 28% discount on all items at his shops. Naruto has a shop. He gives 28% discount on all the items. Now you have to understand on which price the discount is given. So discount is always given on marked price. What is where the price is marked for a particular item on that particular marked price the discount is given. Okay. And the next line you have to read that is going to be still makes 20% profit. So even after giving 20% discount, he is making 20% profit. So how it is possible? Because the discount is being given on mark price, but the profit is calculated on the cost price. Okay. So in whatever price Naruto have uh, purchased the particular uh, thing from another shop or from a wholesaler, the profit or loss is going to be calculated on that particular cost price. Okay. So this is the basic difference. So discount is calculated on marked price and profit is always calculated on cost price. These things you have to remember. Just think as a uh, shopkeeper, you will understand easily. Next, the question is, what is the cost price of an article which is marked as rupees 500? So the marked price is given as rupees 500. What is the cost price? It is the question. So let's see. Mark price is 500. Okay, and we know that there is a 28% discount and discount is given on mark price. So total discount will be 28% of the mark price. So 500 into 28 by 100, it will give us 140 rupees. Okay, this will be that discount. Total discount will be 140 rupees. So now the, what is the selling price? So when I am giving a discount from the mark price, then the selling price will be mark price minus discount okay so discounted selling price will be mark price that is 500 minus discount that is 140 so the selling price will be rupees 360 this is the selling price of the item now what is asked the asked is cost price so let's assume the cost price is going to be 100 okay so they have said that the shopkeeper that is Naruto, he is uh, earning 20% profit. So 20% is profit is earned on the cost price. So if the cost price is 100, then 20% profit, that means profit will be 20 rupees. Then what will be the selling price? Selling price will be cost price plus profit that is 120. Okay. So selling price is what? Selling price is cost price into 120 divided by 100. This is the selling price because he is getting 20% profit. So, cost price multiplied by 120 divided by 100, that is how we are going to calculate the selling price. But here we already know selling price. So, our selling price is what? We have already calculated the selling price as rupees 360. So, we will just put the value. So, 360 equals to CP, that is the cost price, multiplied by 120 divided by 100. So now, we will just take the numbers to the opposite side of the uh, equals to sign and we are going to calculate the CP. So, CP will be this 100 will get multiplied with 360 and this 120 
it is already multiplied so it will be divided now so 360 multiplied by 100 divided by 120 and this will give us our answer that is going to be 300 so our cost price is going to be 300 that is going to be our answer okay so let's move on to the next question next question is there is a question of ratio so there are two ratios given a is to b is going to be 2 is to 3 that is one value that is given okay the next value that is given is going to be b is to c that is equals to 5 is to 6 okay this is another value that is given then the question is asking we have to find a is to c how to do that so first of all there is no direct relation between a and c so we have to use b to get the value of a is to b is to c and then from that we have to calculate a is to c because b is with a and b is with c so b is the one which is with both of them so we have to use b so we will write like that so on the top we will write a is to b equals to 2 is to 3 okay we will write a is to b equals to 2 is to 3 and b is to c equals to what b is to 3 is equals to 5 is to 6 this is given in the question these two is given in the question then we will be equaling the value of b in both of these so here b is 3 here b is 5 so we will multiply the whole ratio here okay with this b's value and we will multiply the whole ratio here with this uh, upper b's value okay so we will multiply this lower b is 5 so we will multiply the whole upper equation with 5 and it will become 2 is to 3 into 5 it will become 10 is to 15 so uh, this is value of a is to b and we will multiply this whole ratio with this b's value that is 3 so we'll multiply this with 3 so it will become b is to c equals to 15 is to 18 okay so now this b and this b is equal so we can write them in a single ratio so now a is to b is to c will become this 10 a is 10 b is 15 in both and c is 18 okay now we can write them only we can write it like this because the b's value in both the ratio are same now so you can write it like this how we made the b's value same in both the ratio by multiplying so we in the question it is only asked about a and c we can omit the b so a is to c will become what 10 is to 18 and uh, as we can see we can divide both of these by 2 so it will become 5 is to 9 so this is going to be the answer for this particular question the third question for this video and the final one for today is going to be again another question uh, about work and time okay and we are also going to use fraction concepts in this video so both work time ratio and fraction both is going to be concepts that is going to be used in this video so let's understand the question naruto is a guy who can do a work in 10 days naruto can do a work in 10 days and his friend is sasuke who can do a same work in 15 days alone okay so if they are doing the work alone so naruto alone can do the work in 10 days and sasuke alone can do the same work in 15 days okay next we are going to understand what is the question they are asking so find how many days it will take if they work together so if they try to work together for the same work how many days it will take so naruto alone can do in 10 days if sasuke is helping him then it will take less number of days for him to do okay so obviously if they are doing alone they can together do it in a even lesser number of days so how many days it will be let's see how to calculate it first we have to assume what is the total number of work so for a case we can take it as one part okay so let's take the whole work as one part okay then we are going to calculate so first of all it is given that in 10 days naruto can do the whole one part work okay so in one day how much naruto will do in one day naruto will do only one tenth of the whole work because he is doing one part in 10 days so in one day he will do one by ten of the whole work okay similarly for sasuke also it was 15 days 15 days he can do in uh, one part so in one day he will do 1 by 15 part of the work okay so i hope up to this is clear next we are going to calculate how both how much work both of them together can do in one day so naruto can do 1 by 10 and sasuke can do 1 by 15 so we are going to add both of these so 1 by 10 plus 1 by 15 is going to be the amount of work naruto and sasuke can do together in one day 
it is going to be first take LCM of the fraction so it will be 30 and then it uh, one uh, this, this will become 3 and this will become 2 so we will add this and it will become 5 divided by 30 that will be 1 divided by 6 part okay so now they can together do 1 out of 6 part in one day so if they can do 1 out of 6 part in one day then to do the whole one part how many days they will take they will take 6 days because 1 out of 6 part they are doing in 1 day, in 6 days they will do 6 into 1 out of 6 that is the whole 1 part. So total amount of days that will be uh, needed for both of them together to do the war is going to be 6 days. This is going to be your answer. So this is the 3 questions we have taught today and we have used 5 concepts. Percentage, profit loss, ratio, fractions and work and time. All of these five concepts we have learned using only three questions, three examples. If you want me to make much more this type of videos, also not only just for uh, quants, but also for verbals or reasoning or also another coding questions and all, you can comment down. I have already posted one coding related video. You can check those out from the description box link as well and make, not, make sure not to forget to click on the subscribe button.